Good morning. My name is Mauro Jack. I'm one of the inventors in a patent covering a series of microRNAs for cardiac regeneration through the induction of cardiac myocyte proliferation. Cardiovascular disorders represent a tremendous burden the world over. These are the most common, the most serious, the most chronic of life-threatening diseases and cause more death, disability, and economic strain than all other diseases put together, including cancer. More than one person out of three dies because of a cardiovascular disorder. In 42% of cases, this is due to myocardial infarction, and in 36% of cases due to stroke. Even most staggering is the fact that more than 50% of patients with ischemic cardiomyopathy develop heart failure. There are 15 million new cases of heart failure reported worldwide each year, and this number is increasing exponentially along with the aging of the population. The prognosis of heart failure is very poor. Over 50% of patients die within five years from diagnosis. Treating heart failure is tremendously expensive. It is the prevalent cause of hospitalization after 65 years of age. Even more worrisome is the fact that despite the burden of these disorders, no new drugs have been developed since the 90s. One of the reasons for the lack of effective therapeutics is certainly linked to the problem that the heart is a non-regenerative organ. At birth, a considerable fraction of cardiomyocytes still proliferate. However, a few weeks later, this fraction drops to almost zero. Thus, while cardiomyocytes continue to work throughout our lifetime, regeneration of the heart is extremely limited. As a consequence, after an infarction, heart repair only occurs through the formation of a scar. There is therefore now a pressing need for novel ways to treat myocardial infarction and heart failure, and in this respect, biotechnology and biological therapeutics might play an essential role. To be very ambitious, we might think of injecting synthetic recombinant factors or in an even more innovative scenario, small RNAs, DNAs, or cells into the heart to promote myocardial regeneration in patients. With the ultimate goal to fund biotherapeutics that promote cardiac regeneration, we set out to discover whether there are any microRNAs in the human genome that might promote cardiac cell proliferation. We did this through high throat screening, starting from a library of about 1,000 microRNAs, which were screened for their capacity to drive proliferation of newborn rat cardiomyocytes in a time frame when these cells are still able to divide. We discovered that 37 microRNAs are able to promote proliferation in rat, mouse, and human cardiomyocytes, and that these microRNAs drive DNA thin synthesis in cardiomyocytes. They also drive entry of the cells into the cell cycle, and in the end, they force the cell to divide. Even more relevant is the fact that uh, if we treat cardiomyocytes with these microRNAs, they continue to divide, and uh, in cell culture, these cardiomyocytes fill up the plate, as you can see in the bottom section of the slide on the right. If you take these microRNAs and inject them into newborn rats, the size of the heart increases. It becomes larger, not because of an increase in the pre-existing cardiomyocytes, but because their number actually increases. If you look closer into these hearts, you can now see that several of the cardiomyocytes in the heart of these animals treated with the microRNAs are pushed through cell division and eventually divide. We also included these microRNAs in a vehicle, which is a modified virus based on the adeno-associated virus, AAV, and injected these modified viruses into the heart. After 12 days, the heart of these treated animals became considerably bigger, while it remained perfectly functional. We also used some of these microRNAs in mice after myocardial infarction and noticed that the size of the infarct is much reduced, that the heart tends not to dilate or degenerate towards heart failure. In an even more pertinent manner, the function of these hearts improves so much that they are very close to normal function, as shown in the slide, by measuring several cardiac parameters by echocardiography. We are strongly convinced that these microRNAs can be developed for human therapy, also as this represents the only kind of treatment so far 
that has been shown to induce proliferation of cardiac cells in vivo and to produce regeneration of cardiac muscle after myocardial infarction. Based on these findings, we are now testing the efficacy of the microRNAs we have discovered in larger animal models of myocardial infarction and heart failure. We remain firmly convinced of the novelty and the potential relevance of this totally revolutionary approach to treat cardiac disease and are now seeking partnerships to bring it even closer to the clinic in a phase one, two human clinical trial. I thank you very much for your attention.